Nemo and the ghost like fish. Nemo loved school. So did his friends, Tad, Pearl, and Sheldon. Their teacher, Mr. Ray, made everything so much fun. He took his students all over the reef. One day, Mr. Ray took his students exploring and gave them an assignment. Okay, explorers, he said. Let's see if each of you can find a shell. Nemo was searching through some seaweed when he heard an odd noise. He looked up and saw his friends bolting out of the nearby cave, screaming loudly. What's the matter? Nemo asked. It's a g-g-g-g-ghost fish, Sheldon replied fearfully. Yeah, right, Nemo replied. Just then, Tad realized he had lost the shell he'd found. I must have dropped it in there, but I'm not going back for it. Don't worry, said Nemo. I'll find it. Nemo swam bravely into the cave. See, he said to himself, nothing to be afraid of. Then Nemo froze. On the cave wall was a huge fish-shaped shadow. He took a deep breath. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Ghostfish, he asked. A ghostfish, a tiny voice said nervously. Nemo followed the voice. To his surprise, the ghostfish was actually a tiny glow-in-the-dark fish. Don't be afraid, Nemo said. My name is Nemo. What's yours? I'm Eddie, replied the little fish. You mean there's no ghostfish? Nemo explained the whole funny story. By the way, said Nemo, how do you glow like that? Eddie shrugged. I just do, he replied. Nemo thought of someone who would know more about Eddie's glow, Mr. Ray. So Nemo invited Eddie to meet everyone. Outside, Nemo rejoined his friends. I didn't find your shell, Nemo said to Tad, but I did find your ghost fish. Everyone wanted to know what made Eddie glow. Good question, Mr. Ray replied. There are tiny glow-in-the-dark organisms inside these patches on either side of Eddie's jaw. Everyone oohed and awed. Mr. Ray smiled at Nemo. I think you deserve an A in exploring today, Nemo, he said. Love you. Night.